This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the fast and easy way to make a beautiful website. I have a number of things I have to do today. I have a photo shoot booking in the loft today, which is very convenient because I am out doing other stuff all day anyway. And then while they shoot, I'm going to number one, run into Williamsburg and go and see my holistic doctor for an appointment, get acupuncture, get a checkup, all of that kind of stuff and go to a tailoring appointment. I asked for some recommendations and there was actually a really good one suggested not that far from me in Bushwick. So I'm gonna take my clothes with me and I thought that I would try them on for you. I feel like we all have that pile of stuff that we're telling ourselves we need to get altered and it never happens, but it's actually happening for me. So hopefully this will give you some motivation. These clothes, I need the tailor to see me in them and to actually pin them on my body for them to fit like just right. And I thought it would be fun to kind of show you the stuff now and then circle back in a week or two when the stuff is done, retry it on and just judge the alterations with me. I don't know. I feel like I would like to watch that. So still wearing literally my pajamas, but uh, this was the first thing I wanted to try on because it's the only like separate. But now that I have them on, I don't think I actually need to get them altered. Basically, this is a pair of Michael Costello by Revolve bicycle shorts with a little sarong built in because I bought it for what I thought was happening this year. I thought Primavera would be on this year and it wasn't. It's cute. Uh, no alterations needed here after all. Next thing I'm getting altered will look familiar. It's the uh, dress I told you I wanted to wear for my birthday. Um, it's just a misguided dress from ASOS, but um, I fell in love with the straps. I mentioned before it's really drawing attention to this area but you know what this is a woman's shape this is what a woman looks like and we're just gonna roll with the unflattering light right now and um, a lot of you wanted to keep it long I agreed I think it looks fabulous and really form-fitting long however it's just not me like at the end of the day I'd be much more likely to wear a short dress than a long dress if I'm gonna wear a dress so I am going to get it taken off. It's a perfect example of what I was talking about with the other black satin dress is that this is a mini dress, right? This is categorized as a mini dress, but it's too long. Like it looks more like, not a midi, but like it just is unflattering. Like I have to have things like a little bit awkwardly short for them to actually look flattering on me. So I'll be kind of taking up something like that. I don't know, maybe like three inches, almost casual cut dress, but it's in this nice silky fabric and the back is actually kind of where it's at. It's like an asymmetric um, keyhole. And this is from Josephine's collection with N NAKD. I don't really buy into a lot of um, influencer collaborations, but my God, Josephine HJ killed that collab like i think i bought three pieces from that collection all in all because i thought that they were so affordable everything i bought was made from recycled fabrics motel dress also seems to be a hit with you guys this is a bit of like when i'm walking around i feel like i can ride up a little bit this fits pretty well however i do feel like it's a little bit roomy in some areas like around my waist so it's a little bit like i don't know if you can see it feels really baggy here. Lastly, the piece de la resistance is this dress that Megan Mercilady sold the shit out of to me personally. Like I'm not easily influenced to buy things that other people are wearing. However, like I saw her in it and I was like, I, she sold me the lifestyle. <laughs> it's another holiday purchase. I want to feel hot on holiday. Okay. Like let me live. Look, sometimes there is a price tag. On looking hot and this was one of those times alamore alamore something like that alamore alamore i'm pretty sure that's it um but it's this gorgeous like cut out dress it's lined it's got a little baby sparkle in it bought the dress should have got the small 
I just assumed it was the kind of brand that would run really, really tiny. Um, and I got the medium and it is absolutely hanging off of me. Like, I literally need to ask this tailor to make this a size small. I probably will take some up on the shoulder because I am only 5'6". So one more thing I wanted to ask was, how is the sound sounding? Because I've just gone back to playing with my little plug-in mic on my vlog camera and that whole section of try on was with the mic. I came out of my doctor's appointment and now I'm the crazy person talking to a camera at La Canteen, but you know what time it is. Got the cold brew, we got the banana chocolate chip banana bread and for lunch I have the egg sandwich on a baguette. Uh, there's red onion in there too and they're kind of like special, special sauce in there. Good day so far. Out of 291 Stockholm Street in Bushwick, post Taylor, my bill came to 130 six dollars for four garments yeah, i'm happy to support his business and i could tell like he really knew what i wanted finally happy to have a tailor in the neighborhood that i feel like i can trust obviously we still need to see how we get on but i have a good feeling extremely simple but satisfying dinner tonight i don't have any of the seasonings on but um this is kind of a healthier has it up with maybe some like leftover sauces I have from the week. I'm definitely going to use some of this for a kake seasoning. It's like you can get all different flavors, but I think this is like a vegetable and seaweed one. Um, and I'm also going to kind of drizzle some coconut aminos. All segmented here now like a child, but I'll probably mix it up with sauces and seasonings and kind of do a, a lettuce cup situation. But my god, that egg is good. I would have liked it a bit more jammy, but it ain't bad. Obviously dining room. Relaxing, sleepy evening time. I've got Lizzie's vlogs on. I have to catch up. Two or three to catch up on. I am loving the new house that she bought in London and all of like the moving content and the renovation content. I'm here for it. I'm actually meeting Lizzie this week, which I'm so excited about. We're going for like dinner and drinks. One of those weird things, you know, it's like when worlds collide. I've been watching Lizzie for so long. I am doing some embroidery for an engagement present for Jess, um, which is well overdue, but I'm finally putting the finishing touches on it so I can give it to her. I always feel like special people deserve homemade gifts. I feel like homemade gifts are the best. Haven't done it in a long time, but when I was a child, my mom used to go to these classes, like embroidery, like neighborhood embroidery classes. It was like one woman in the neighborhood would host it and it would be like, sit around a table, like drink tea, eat biscuits and embroider. And I learned that way, like super, super young. I think maybe I was eight when I started embroidering. Set my brain into like wanting to study fashion because from around the same age, I knew I wanted to design. Um, obviously I'm not doing that now, haha, <laughs> lol. Career change, check. Hello, hello. Um, I am just heading out. We're going to the city today to run around and collect my alterations, which I'm sure you already seen in the vlog now. So I will try those on tomorrow and we'll hopefully see some improvement. My last week in New York before I head away. And um, I don't know, every time I leave for more than two weeks, I feel like I want to do something almost touristy in New York, just something that like I've wanted to do. And actually this is something I've wanted to do since before the pandemic, but then the pandemic hit and everything was shut. I am gonna just have a nice walk around Soho, maybe get a coffee go to this guided tour at the Judd Foundation. I also just forget now that everything's kind of opened up again. I can do the things that I used to do, which is obviously exploring New York, enjoying what it has to offer. It would be a nice thing to keep me grounded before things start really getting hectic. There's absolutely nothing special about my outfit today. Jeans and a tea vibe, boots. I've got this like pretty new necklace from a little brand that I found called 33 millimeter. Um, little gold plated piece. I'm just feeling like I honestly would have loved to have just worn a muumuu today because my period is due. I'm getting all of these blemishes starting to come up, just a little small ones, nothing major. Um, but I just like the thought of clothes against my body today is just not it.
on Spring Street. And that's the building I'm going inside. Hello, I have my Greek Freddo coffee from Amelion Door. My little artsy hour at the Judd Foundation, really enjoyed it. I'm home, I'm showered, I'm fed, I've had my dinner, I got my holiday portrait. I actually am not a huge portrait stand, but in Greece, I know it will pick up the colors really well. Then I went to Sephora because I always feel like I go in to get like my essentials. I topped up on Nars Creamy Concealer. I swear to God, a tube of this lasts me like two and a half years, but we're finally stocked up on custard. Also love these Benefit 24 hour brow setters, mini size. I just, I'm obsessed. I actually just use the mini size all the time because it's easy for a makeup bag. Also got the very much loved Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I don't know if I've ever really used a setting spray properly before. I probably tried this years ago, but I love how I do my makeup and then I leave the house and within an hour, I'm like laughing and crying laughing. It just looks bad, especially with the light makeup I wear. I feel like it doesn't last as long or look as good as long as I wanted to. So I'm gonna give this a try on my holiday. These baby sized emergency wipes because every girl needs those in a handbag. Apparently it's my birthday this month, legend. Legend has it, so uh, Sephora let me pick out my birthday gift. So I got this little Laneige moisturizer mask set, which are travel sizes, so they'll be handy. Just hung up all of my alterations and I'm also prepping, I've just steamed um, my look for tomorrow. Me and Chloe are shooting a campaign. It's actually the first campaign, like proper like photo shoot she'll be helping me with um, that isn't just for fun. So. Looking forward to that, probably won't vlog it because I am up the walls and I just want to get it done. Um, but I will be back in the afternoon to kind of try on those bits and see how they fit. But first impressions is they're looking good. Hopefully they fit good. Good afternoon from frizzy haired me. I'm just in from shooting with Chloe. Um, and before I took these heels off, because I'm quite tired of walking around in them all day, I thought I'd kind of show you what I wore for today's shoot. It's a full Ted Baker look. It's got this like swishy, like pale yellow satin skirt. Uh, really like how it came out. I felt like quite a fancy girl walking around Soho. Um, but yes, I'm just gonna have a bite to eat and then I'll be back to try on my alterations. Okay, alterations review. Piece number one. The motel skirt i got the waist taken in i can already feel there's like all of that kind of extra fabric that was sitting at the back is now more fitted we didn't do anything with the length or anything this was just taking in that kind of loose fabric that was on the box then we nailed the length this is a really really comfortable mini dress length for me it's not up around me hole as my mother would say um and yeah it's just really comfortable really casual I can breathe in it and um, yeah, it just feels like it fits. <coughs> I'm so excited. We nailed the mini dress fit. I'm so glad I got it cut up. I can already feel my legs just feel so much less constricted. I can dance in it. Um, I asked him to make the back a little bit longer so it kind of like dips a little bit. Um, and it's also very hard to like hem satin well and I think they did an amazing, amazing job so like this is a good sort of so i'm just trying to imagine it with heels i have the perfect pair of shoes in mind to wear with it these open toe platform sandals that i've had for years and they're so comfortable but i thought they were in storage and when i took everything out of storage last week that they must have went out with the giant heel purge i did last year where i basically got rid or donated all of my heels because I just never wear them. Like I was hanging on to them for years and years and years waiting for a wedding or an event, just something where I had to wear heels and it never came. And I was like, I've had most of these heels for five years. I've had some of them since college. I need to let it go. So I got rid of all of my dressy heels apart from like one pair, 
which are black and they're fine they're like pointy strapped court shoes but i really wanted more of an open toe sandal and they would have matched the fabric as well so i'm a little gutted but you win some you lose some i'm not buying new shoes just for the occasion and we got my uh pricey dress which also now fits like a glove i pretty much brought it down to small we took up the shoulder um he took some in on this side because it completely opens and then we also took some in on this side honestly i probably could have went like a little tighter but it's a comfy fit it's a comfy fit i didn't show you this but i also got my reformation margot skirt taken in i originally have it in a us size 6 which is like a uk 10 and i needed to kind of go down a full inch on that so it fits so much better now it was really like starting to hang down to the point where i couldn't really wear it so it's all ready to be packed for my holiday this is honestly like the little black skirt in my closet that and my reformation dress i'll muster up the energy to clean myself up on time and show you what i'm wearing i am meeting Lizzie for dinner and I'm so excited. I've planned out this kind of nice little evening for us on the Lower East Side but I'm sure a lot of you know of have seen Lizzie, Lizzie Hadfield slash shot from the street. I know she's kind of gone into her, her Lizzie Hadfield era now and has dropped the pseudonym um, but I'm so excited. I feel like we've been back and forth chatting like actually her and Lindsay I've been back and forth with on Instagram for like well over the pandemic. I feel like I really got to know quite a lot of people online when we were all stuck inside and those girls, I just know I'd get on so well with the both of them. So Lizzie has been doing this three week trip. She's in New York now and I'm just buzzing. I'm buzzing. I'm going to take her to a wine bar um, and to Kiki's and one or two other bars. I'm hair down a little bit tonight. Hopefully not be too uh, hungover but yeah god she's just somebody that i really can't wait to learn more about on a personal level extremely quick look at what i'm wearing um this line by k like asymmetrical tank top it never quite sits right in the front but it's got a very nice crisscross back the um reformation skirt i showed you already these vintage tommy hill figure 90s boots weekday bag and i'm wearing just a boring kind of light blazer on top but i gotta go Hello, no key fit today, just my denim, old wraparound Urban Outfitters top, kind of my go-to Levi's at the moment, boots, you know, same, same, and then this um, vintage leather jacket, which I took out of my uh, closet swap out. So yeah, it's kind of rainy and miserable outside today, but I will fill you in once I get out of here. Guys, could you imagine me working in corporate? shade i have full respect it's just my brain literally can't handle this environment even just like looking at the entrances gives me anxiety little pit stop here to get my eyelashes done before my holiday i know it's just i keep talking about the holiday but that's what happens a week before a trip you know you get your laser appointments done you get your nails done I'm just excited to get my lashes done not the best day for it because you have to keep them dry it's been kind of drizzly today, but it's drying out, so I hope it keeps up. There's something about this part of the city, like midtowny, that just makes you want to get a Dunkin' Donuts. It's been a very social weekend for me overall. I know, I know. It's a shock to me too. Um, so I'm hoping a coffee in a little bit will perk me right up. It's loud, but the lighting is very good. Look at my lashes. So good. Love Gina. I will leave her. Um, Instagram on the screen, but she's like my go-to lash lady. She's such a perfectionist. I love it. To say we uh, tore into lunch now would be an understatement. <laughs> These girls eat. <laughs> okay, so yes, baby hair central. Um, but yes, lashes are done met Jess and like it's so weird it's been so miserable and raining I need to get my favorite lip liner from Sephora I need to get my makeup forever lip liner aqua lip in 3c that is my favorite favorite lip liner it's the one I wear um with glossier like in most of my videos no way the last 3c lip liner oh Oh, 
Squarespace who are kindly sponsoring this video. You guys know they're my long-term partners and so many of you have uh, used them on my recommendation but if you don't know what they are or if you need the reminder Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can basically design a website from start to finish. You can buy your domain name from them then pick out your template on the platform and customize it to whatever website needs you like so whether you need a portfolio to display your work such as my photos or whether you want to start an e-shop a blog just whatever your slice of the internet needs to be you can do that with Squarespace. Squarespace. In my opinion, I feel like Squarespace is just the best place to create a website that doesn't look like it was made by a child, that just looks extremely professional, extremely clean um, with minimal effort. And of course, if you need any help setting up, you can always use their 24-7 customer care service who are amazing. If you don't believe me, you can always check out my two-week free trial at squarespace.com slash tarmar and if you'd like to continue using squarespace and push it live you can use my code tarmar for 10 percent off your future billing gotten some nice messages recently of people that have used my code to start up their small businesses and that that makes me so happy well i'm back with my little catch of the day I wanted more layering necklaces and I really wanted one in this kind of vintage style. And to me, when I look at it super up close, it doesn't have that authentic look to it, but I really like the chain and it was really reasonably priced and it'll just do me for the time being till I find something better. I'll leave it down below, but this is the Etsy seller. Love me a bit of Etsy. Etsy, please sponsor me again. <gasps> Oh, I forgot. This was another Etsy order I made. I bought three different pairs of 90s sunglasses and I'm going to do a try on for you because they were only $10 each. They're genuine 90s. I really love the Y2K, like smaller slim frame glasses at the moment. But for me, trying to shop for sunglasses is really difficult online. Like I really need to see something on me. However, and um, before I kind of spent money on something expensive again, because I, I returned the last two pair of sunglasses that I bought, I went on Etsy and found actual dead stock. And, oh my God, they're so cute. That's pair number one. You can kind of see the style that I'm going for, like Matrix. Oh my God, these are a vibe. I just seriously put you on to like the hottest tip ever. I was about to pay, I don't know, like $200 for a pair of sunglasses. No, they were more than that, like flat list eyewear. Like these are pretty much the energy I was going for. Pair number two, they're all quite fitted as well, which I like, but like they're nice and tight to my head. I think I like these as well. Like I think 90 sunglasses were made for me. And this is pair number three, which I'm probably going to give to my boyfriend. I don't know if they'd fit his head. My God, these are quite tight, but in a good way. What do we think? The worst thing though is like, I always wear my hair like this in the front. So it never like sits right. I think I love all of them. I'm never this lucky with sunglasses. I will leave the seller because she sells, like her whole shop is just 90 sunglasses. What did I last minute buy for my holidays on ASOS then? Hold on a second. It's that dress that has straps exactly like this. It's made out of the same stuff. So I got this cute little hairband to match and style with it. But I was just like, you know, like, let's go all out on the look. Let's commit to the look because I'm probably going to wear a blazer over it that's going to hide the extraness of the straps. I got this bag from ASOS, which is obviously very diamante, very 90. I kind of like the fact that the strap was sort of relaxed. And I just think with a plain outfit, it's just a little bit extra and fun. I don't know why, but I'm treating my 29th birthday as if it's like my 30th. I'm, I'm going very extra. I just thought like it would photograph well and do me on some nights out because I'm stopping in London before my actual holiday and um, I'll be going out with some friends there. So I think it'll be a good bag for like nights out in Greece. Um, cause I know like my outfits aren't going to be too colorful. Like I'm wearing a lot of black. So I think fun little texture like this kind of borders that line of um, tacky and interesting, which is, which is my area of expertise. Welcome to Tara Relearns to do her hair 101. As you probably know from my videos, when it comes to my hair and my makeup, actually I'm very laid back i'm just kind of like i don't know i'm just over the whole high maintenance routine i went through that phase when i was like 16 17 18 19 20 21 
and I just kind of like fell out of love with the faff like it's not like I don't really have the kind of lifestyle or personal style that just requires a lot of makeup. But saying this, the predicament I find myself in is when I do actually go out and I do want to look nice, I can't really pull the look together the way that I want to and I kind of miss learning how to do stuff. Like I was part of that first wave of viewers on YouTube who watched like Pixie Woo and God, who else was on there? Just like really learning how to do makeup and like sitting at home 11, 12 years later and I'm still going back to YouTube and this time my uh, my messiah here is Mary from Love Island. And I think everyone always thinks this is a really hard thing to do but it's literally the easiest thing ever. No Mary, it's hard. It's really hard. I feel like she had the best hair and makeup in the villa and when I saw that she had a YouTube channel covering her hairstyles, I was like, I need to learn this Kendall Jenner slicked back situation because every time I try and do it I'm like why doesn't it look like those girls and I concluded that maybe the shape of my head the texture and thickness of my hair is just not conducive for these types of um, hairstyles however most of the hairstyles are kind of appropriate for when your hair is dirty or like greasy and I think that's just handy for holidays to still be able to look kind of glam um, when your hair is dirty and kind of come up with more solutions and like just wash my hair less in general don't have the whey pomade that she uses but i do have a whey mousse which i've always used for my six to back hairstyles i think it will do the job got my tools i've got this um it's like a teasing brush which i know is really good for these i'm just a comb this is the look that we're gonna be trying This is attempt numero uno. I think I'm gonna try one of the other ones as well. Actually, looking in the mirror, I think I quite like it. I don't know if I need to fill in some of my slightly kind of baldy patches there, but it's honestly really hard to tell because my vlog camera is kind of wide angle, so it's it's really unflattering. In the villa, I don't know if you know it, but I never ever wore my hair like wavy or really curly. Wore my hair wavy. I'll curl it. I've switched to 50 millimeters so I can actually see more of a realistic portrayal of my head. And I actually don't mind it. Like looking in the camera when it was, at, it was zoomed out at 35 millimeter, hated it, like hated it. But actually with some makeup on, I think I could get, get away with this. Like I know those girls have big long like hair extension ponytails, but if I straightened my ponytail, or like we're in a bun like she does. Let me do that. But I like this, this is cute. Maybe we're on to something here. I purposely left it a bit messier on the top because it was like too flat to my head. But like this is giving me a bit more Kendall Jenner vibes that I was hoping for. I think I could perfect this guys. I think we're on to something. It was a very good tutorial. So you'll never see this Mary, but thank you. In the description for anyone wanting to give it a try. It definitely takes a little bit of finagling. I am having the loveliest weekend morning. It is Saturday. I have a coffee, that um, Cometeer coffee. It's so good. Like, I can already tell it's a new obsession of mine. This tastes like I've gone out to a coffee shop and gotten a different coffee. So that spruced up my morning nicely. Then I've also made myself a um, very over the top vegan grilled cheese. I'm not vegan, I just really like vegan products a lot of the time, but I've got vegan cheese, my favorite whole wheat sourdough, grilled cheese, vegan mayo, uh, tomato, and the chili jam that my boyfriend sent me. Honestly, the obsession is just too real. The whole jar is gonna be gone by the end of the week. I wish he sent me more. Sometimes I just stop and think, holy hell, like, I, I'm doing life right now and it's very much, it can feel very chaotic. There's a lot to be grateful for. I feel like last night I was in bed just thinking about like, holy hell, like I'm a full blown adult. And even though you never feel like you know what you're doing, you genuinely don't. You just kind of take one thing at a time. I still am like looking around and I'm like, oh my God, like I live in my own flat. I take care of everything myself. I do my taxes. I've learned so much 
in the world of adulting and taking care of myself and um so yeah that's kind of what's been on my mind this morning so no matter where you are on your journey there's always something to be thankful for and grateful for this bite is for you <laughs> cheers guys <laughs>